HMS Snake, circa 1797. Building the Hull, Part 1. Hello, my name is Steve Prisky and I'm a model shipwright. Now this series of video clips is going to document the construction of the hull of the HMS Snake and this model is being built from the Calder Craft kit of this ship. Now here you can see I'm installing a stem or what's often known as the cut water onto the frame of the ship and as you can also see the bulkheads have already been uh, put in place. Now once the stem has uh, uh, been, been applied, next is going to be the keel of the ship and here we can see clamps are holding the keel in place and this uh, setup will dry for about 24 hours. Uh, next will be shaping of the bulkheads so that they can take the lay of the planks uh, so that they can accept the curvature of the hull. Now in this case I'm using lime wood planks for the first layer of hull planking and here we can see that uh, starting just below the bulwarks I've laid the planks down and I've reached just about midsection on the hull where you have to start now splicing in uh, the uh, additional hull planks and this is to accommodate the curvature of the hull of course. Um, I'm using cryocyle glue uh, to, to uh, apply the uh, hull planks. Now once this first layer of hull planks have been completed the hull will be sanded and shaped and uh, then a second layer of uh, planking will be applied over top of this, a little bit more exotic kind of wood. And quite interesting, just below the water line will be uh, uh, applied over 900 uh, real copper plates, just as were used on the real ship. So uh, uh, here, here we can see the uh, almost uh, completion. Oh, by the way, the shaded out areas that you see uh, inside of the frame of the ship are going to be cut out because the inside of the ship is also going to be built out and will be visible through the deck gratings. Anyway, this brings to a conclusion part one of building the hull of the uh, HMS Snake circa 1797. Uh, stay tuned for part two.